What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Jordan Peele's nope in this video here again today and talking about the social commentary that's now been revealed by Jordan Peele himself and what the commentary or at least one of them anyway because it could be a plethora of things. One of the biggest things I guess going into nope as far as like social commentary according to Jordan Peele himself from a recent interview that he had with Empire. So one of the quotes that stuck out to me and another one I'm going to get to he stated that he wanted to make a spectacle, something that would promote my favorite art form and my favorite way of watching that art form, the theatrical experience. As I started writing the script, I started digging into the nature of spectacle, our addiction to spectacle, and the insidious nature of intention. So that's what it's about. And it's about a brother and sister and healing their relationship. Now, the other thing he said, or was in reference to the the all like how we know he's talking about he went on to talk about the african-american aspect that he's addressing this time around or the part of african-american history that is that it's addressing he said the part of african-american history that this addresses more than anything is the spectacleization of black people in reference to that image of the black guy on the horse no one knows who that is we know that in the in the film this is supposed to be like the great 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 grandfather of the hayworths that we're going to be following no one knows who that is but we all know who took the image so again he says that the part of the part of african-american history that this addresses more than anything is the spectacleization of black people as well as the erasure of us from the industry from many things i think in a lot of ways this film is a response to the my bridge clip was what which was the first series of photographs put in put in sequential order to create a moving image and it was a black man on on a horse Course. we know who we know who the guy who took the image was or the guy who created the clip was but we don't know who the guy on the horse is he's the first movie star the first animal trainer the first stunt rider ever on film and no one knows who he is that erasure is part of what the lead characters in the movie are trying to correct they're trying to claim their rightful place as part of the spectacle and what the film also deals with is the toxic nature of attention and the insidiousness of our human addiction to spectacle now here's the thing very intriguing thoughts right there and the fact that it is indeed going to be focusing on aspects of seeking fame attention and the negatives and the positives that can come from that and the exploitation of things definitely seems like there's going to be exploitation involved in that too the fact of the matter is it sounds like the hayworths are going to get caught up in the fact or at least one of them which i think is going to be kiki's character of emerald She's going to get caught up in the fact, just making a prediction, caught up in the fact of how they have a chance to make a name for themselves, unlike their grandfather, who was a part of that first ser series of moving clips, riding that horse. No one knows who he is, but they're going to know who they are if they can capture footage of this UFO and share it all over the Internet and maybe possibly profit off of it. When what you should be doing is focusing on how to correct that, how to get rid of these of these aliens get rid of them stop them from terrorizing the community if they're doing that but you're focused on your own selfish benefit from it because of a wrongdoing in the past that is related to a relative of yours and i get it but it seems like what the commentary here is is how a lot of people will do things for and i guess you could throw me in there since i'm a youtuber the the, the way people today are chasing that attention you know through instagram likes facebook likes twitter followers subscribers you know all these other different things they're trying to create their own spectacle and they get caught up so much in it that they're placing their own self-worth in this one thing they don't find self-worth in anything else but this spectacle spectacle that they want to create for themselves and that they're obsessed with creating and seeing what everyone else's reaction is from it they're not content with who they are uh, and the anonymity around them or just the fact of being unknown they have to be known they have to be in the spotlight they need all of this uh, and it's I think it's really gonna have a lot to say about how that can lead to someone self-destructing uh, I think the most recent person I can think of right now is that that documentary that came out I, I think I haven't watched it recently Tiger King with Joe Exotic that's who I'm thinking of right now so I think in a lot of ways it's gonna have a lot to say about how people they they think they want this until they get it they can't handle it or some negative things come from it and it ends up ruining their life so i also noticed on the jupiter's claim website if you go to it you'll notice it too if you navigate through that long enough you'll come across this image 
This is an image of Kid Sheriff, apparently the poster for Kid Sheriff that Ricky Jupe started, who again seems to be portrayed by Stephen Young. Stephen Young. And look at the poster. Is is that not Shia LaBeouf's Holes movie? Is that not Holes, a classic Disney movie? <laughs> And it seems like there again is going to be some commentary on fame and how it could affect people who achieve it at a very young age, like certain actors and all this attention that they get at a young age and how it impacts them later on in their adulthood. And not saying they're trying to throw any shade or trying to bash any actor because everyone goes and deals with their own struggles and hopefully can come out on the other side much more stronger for it. But definitely knowing how the Hayworths, specifically Emerald Kiki Palmer's character, is going to potentially be obsessed with capturing the ufo and capturing the aliens and exposing aliens and creating their own spectacle because of the fact that their grandfather didn't get his credit get his flowers back in the day is going to show us a character who is getting so lost in that she's forgetting that her own self-worth comes from a variety of different things not just the attention that you're getting from capturing a ufo and exposing it on the internet you know i think that's what they're going to try to shine a light on for us for us to find our own self-worth in things outside of just youtube subscribers youtube likes youtube comments facebook and instagram followers facebook recognition tiktok followers and all this other stuff that's kind of boxed in and contained to your self-worth coming from the attention from other people you know you like it at first but then you get to that point that point where you're so well known one little thing you do wrong sends your whole world crashing down and you're now in a situation where that attention you wanted so badly doesn't seem like it was worth it you should have been more comfortable being unknown and not chasing that attention and i think it really is going to have a lot to also say about people who like to exploit things for their own benefit such as again him talking about how uh, bringing up the 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 specialization of black people i could go on and on about how i feel like there's a lot of that going on right now today in in our country uh, as an american citizen as it pertains to how black people are presented and how a lot of people want to pretend they care they really don't care they just want to profit off of us but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i have links to social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video